Runa Halter off the inside in red. Saifudinov picked gate two in blue. Gate three in white, Nikki Pedersen. And Thomas Gollop going off the outside in yellow. Can Saifudinov win with a maximum, just like Crump did at Cardiff? Well, he's been absolutely sensational. That last ride when he didn't need the win, he just surged up the inside. He's been absolutely fabulous. Here we go with the grand final there. It's all about Saifudinov looking for the maximum. Missed the start, though. He's in third now. Almost loses control. The lead is with Halter. And now Saifudinov is in battle for third place. Pedersen is second. Here comes Saifudinov up the inside, but Gollum's in there as well. Oh! oh, what a clash there. Gollum's out of control. He's still out of control. Bells off the back of the bike. All three riders around that bottom corner got very close. Pedersen lifted and ran in the back of the Gollop, causing him to lose control. Dramatic stuff here happening in the final. I tell you what, that decision to take gate two initially for Saifudinov did not work. He was relegated to the back. Pedersen lifts at the wrong moment and runs straight in the side of Gollop. Gollop clouds the safety fence. Look at that roller coaster ride he was on. His heart rate would have been hitting the roof there, I tell you what. Look at this again. Pedersen lifts at the wrong time, just can't get out of the way, runs straight into the side of Golub. Golub's out of control for an awful long time here. Does remarkably well just to hang on to it there. Well, Nicky Pedersen is excluded from the restart, not for the first time this season. And uh, Thomas Golub is up and about. Nicky Pedersen, we seem to have had these conversations a lot this year. Everybody's racing for the inside line, you know, and uh, you see Saifodinov and Golub, you know, they're just coming on, on in towards all the ruts and stuff and they sort of forced me a little bit to, to push me out coming off the bend you know and I couldn't really stay in my line and then Golov he sort of make an extraction in front of me and just go a little bit out and as soon as he left me then Saifudinov is there you know so I had, I had nowhere to go at all and obviously I didn't want to run into anybody but I had tried to shut off the gas and I didn't have any room so that's why I hit him. Well, three riders only for the restart. Runa Holter's got to do it all again. You've got to feel a little bit of sympathy for him because he was a clear leader when the race was stopped there in the original staging of the final. Three riders only, one less to worry about for Saif Rudinov off gate number two, and he's, he's made a it. better start this time. Hits the first turn. Will he stay there now? Holter second, Gollum third. This is cruel on Runa Holter. He had the race under control when it was stopped, but Saif Rudinov could be on the verge of a sensational 24-point maximum here. Yeah. Fabulous stuff from Emil Saifudinov, takes full advantage of the second start. Got to feel, you're right, Nigel, you've got to feel for Rooney Halter. He's now tailed off in second place. Got off picking himself off of the track to come out in the rerun of this final. I sense he's not going to push too hard back in third place. But Emil Saifudinov, good fortune for him. He's out in front, hanging on to it. Looks like it's going to be his night. And this will close the gap on Jason Crump at the top of the World Championship standings. Well, it closed the gap significantly enough to make it interesting in the race for the title now, because Crump has had it in the back for a while, but Saifudinov is certainly giving Crump food for thought here with two rounds to go. He's on his way to a maximum. A reminder, he's 19 years of age. It's his debut Grand Prix season, and he's won another GP, and he's won it in style with a maximum!